a question for Frankie. If Alder were to win at USC 212 and those two losses seem to prevent you from getting the title shot that you've earned, uh, would you consider uh, pursuing a uh, return to the lightweight division? You wanted to fight Conor McGregor for the featherweight title when he was the champion that never came to fruition. Is that something you would pursue or would you just stay at featherweight and try to get your title shot? I mean, if Conor McGregor fights on the table, it may be dumb not to want to fight that fight. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable right at 45 right now. And as a veteran of the sport who works with so many other fighters, what was your kind of just assessment of Yair Rodriguez if you were trying to give him advice on what he needed to do to improve? Yeah, I mean, I just think he's got to get his game more complete. You know, he's got, you know, tons of skills in his stand-up game. And, you know, uh, his jiu-jitsu's not bad. I mean, you know, went for a knee bar on me, too. I think uh, just kind of the middle the middle road, middle games, you know, some little adjustments, and I'm sure he'll be there. And uh, last question for me. Um, the crowd was expected to be very pro Yair Rodriguez, but it seemed like it was pretty 50-50 with Frankie Edgar's fans and fans of Yair Rodriguez. Were you able to kind of pick up on that throughout the fight? Yeah, you know, uh, a lot of times they'll come in screaming for someone else, but I don't know, people like screaming Frankie, so I usually hear that you know, by the end of the fight. What did you say to Yair after the fight? I said respect. I said, you can have a bright future, man. Keep your head up. Okay. And um, I was just wondering, I mean, it was obviously very emotional to hear you talk about your friend Nick um, and what he's been through. And I was wondering if you had a hard time, you know, this is, in the grand scheme of things, not as important as your family. And you said you wanted to go home. Was it hard for you to kind of carpet, um, compartmentalize what was going on and sort of, you know, not get too emotional as you were entering this fight after hearing about something like that? It was. You know, our whole team was kind of, you know, in, in, in the dumps a little bit. And uh, it's tough, man. Every time I close my eyes, I just kind of thought about it. And, uh, you know, we get emotional at times. But, uh, you know, I mean, you try to do your best and, and focus on, on, on what you have in front of you. And uh, luckily it turned out good. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's really t I don't have words to say w w what I'm feeling for, for Nick and his family.